So we mess around inside. Soy venezolano también. We call it el chalequeo, messing with each other. He would pass by this place in Skokie. It was called Puppy Lovers. And we'd be in the back seat of the car as little kids, and he'd be like, Mira, mijo, you want a dog? You want a puppy? Yes, papa, yes. Bye bye, puppy lovers. He drive by. I was so pissed. Tears running down my eyes. But then I knew I had to get him back. So then I'm 16 years old. I can drive my car. My dad's like, William, I need to pass by Walgreens. I'm like, why are you gonna pass by Walgreens, dad? He's like, for my insulin. I'm like, bye bye, Walgreens. <laughs> you know, like, it, it was fun because we used to play tricks on him as kids. Like, whenever I wanted a raise on my allowance, I would play a little trick on him. I'd call it hide the insulin. I'd be like, how bad do you want to live? Dad, he's like, really, buddy? What about that? Toma the Xbox. And then like, like, you know, he would always stay, he'd be like, like, you know, like, cause he eats Hershey's and stuff that diabetics shouldn't eat. And his response to it is, if I die, I die happy. <laughs> like, and you know, that was, that, was, that was crazy to me, but they're all Latinos. And then my mom gets involved in the game. They got divorced, two attorneys, easy breakup. But she comes up the next Christmas, she's like, wait yeah. I invite your father a Christmas present. I'm like, what the hell did you buy dad? She's like, I bought him a quadruple chocolate cake. <laughs> I'm like, mom, why'd you buy that? She's like, because he's a diabetic. I'm gonna finish the job, you get the insurance. <laughs> and he dies happy. I was like, hell no, man, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And then like, <laughs> like we, we love messing with that. Like we were like, you know, like we love music and everything, and like we love like Louis Armstrong. You guys know who Louis Armstrong is? You know, so my dad would play it all the time, and I always like think to myself, like, what if he reincarnated, came back with the same destiny, and like he's got to make a mixtape with like Waka Flocka? You know what I'm saying? It's like mixtape masters, Waka Flocka, Louis Armstrong. What a wonderful world. What would that sound, you know, like sound like? Like you got Louis in there, he's like, I see ladies to my left. A bottle to my right, my blood is lit, and it's a good night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. But he finishes it off with a girl twerking on him. <laughs> Man, I, I, I love that. You know, that, that was the greatest time. And then like being a comic, you don't have the best of jobs. But I was working at like Papa John's, delivering pizzas. I get free food, I like to eat. But then you gotta go to a girl in a bar and she's gonna ask you, what's your job? How do you make money? And me, you gotta play it off because if you're a janitor, you ain't a janitor, you're a custodial manager. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make that shit sound better than it does. So like, I always think to myself, what if I sound like Jason Statham in this coming up? And she's like, no, what do you do? How do you make money? I'd be like, well, see, the thing is, I work for this company. I can't divorce her name, but I hit point to point to point. Then the return at base, they call me the transporter. <laughs> she always says, she's like, let's go on a mission. It's just pizza, Papa John's, 1995. <laughs> Man, I love delivering pizzas though, because you can like you arrive on 420 and the house is like, dude, come on in. <laughs> I'm like, dale. Man, but uh, I had to stop driving. Don't drink and drive, please don't. I know she like you really. But like, I have to have this bait unit in my car. It's like the interlock system. You gotta like. I never felt so gay in my life. I gotta blow my car every time I get it started. I walk into my car, my car's like, hello, well, welcome back. I'm like, okay, food. 
the best part is that somebody who, you know, is drunk can't rob my car. Because they'll be drunk and they take your picture. You know, they really, really, hello. You're welcome to Wilf's car. Come and take this. I'm like, dude, I, I can't believe that. And then, like, like I, I always think to myself, you know, like, if you ever get super messed up and a cop pulls you over, you're gonna have to have to do it on the side, like, I was blowing for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now they take your picture, so it's both of us, like, selfie. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William Martinez.